A very good morning to all students, teachers, and staff. My name is Audrey from Talven, and I'm Mikaela from Class 11T. Before we begin, both Audrey and I hope that everyone is doing well despite this ongoing pandemic. That's right, Mikaela. It is very easy for us to slip up and have bad days, but I hope everyone is taking care of themselves. And it is also the reason why this year's art exhibition is done virtually from the students' respective houses. This art exhibition will showcase the wonderful works from the grade levels of Mentari, starting from grade 7 all the way to grade 12. This exhibition is a good way for us to show the creative minds of the MISB students and for all of us to appreciate it. Art is such a good way to not only explore your talent, but to express yourselves. And it's such a good way to wind down and relax during such stressful times. You know what, let's not keep everyone waiting, uh, but before we begin, allow our esteemed principal, Sir Sonny Reyes, to give his opening remarks. Curious, hopeful, greedy, resilient, resourceful. For others, exhausting, divisive, even heartbreaking. These are only just some, but indeed, all the adjectives in the dictionary can describe the school year that was 2020. 2021. A full year of home-based learning. A full year of undefined boundaries of work, home, leisure, and pleasure. For others, it worked well, but for others, ah, uh -huh, it did not. Just like a saying that the humanities is the highest form of human contribution to the civilization be it in the form of engineering, literature, music, or the arts. But then, of course, they are achieved the last. And during unprecedented times when we are tested, what do you expect? They also die the first. But not in MISB. That's why I am so happy and grateful. Today, Mentarians proved that no pandemic can stop us from harnessing our talents and potentials. Truly, no disaster can stop a star from shining. Good day, everyone. We are again celebrating another milestone of blessings. Today, I welcome all of you to our virtual year-end concert and art exhibition. This is our second year of having this exciting event virtually. Hopefully, and I pray that this is the last. This event showcases Mentarian's talents and crafts that they have produced and carefully selected during the entire school year. May these events signal our desire to bounce back and recover together and stronger. As we look forward to the reopening of the school through blended learning mode in July, I wish that our enthusiasm for the arts continue to ignite new hopes and new vision. A vision for healing each other and each and every Mentarian family who's not spared from the ill effects of the pandemic either directly or indirectly. My commendations go to the student artists and performers and their supportive mentors, teachers, families, and friends who are as equally artistic as they are. Congratulations for a job well done. And I am so grateful for all your efforts and support throughout this time. Special greetings to the different committees headed by the arts teachers, Ibu Junisa and Ibu Renisa, and our music teachers, Pa Ramon and Ibu Shirley. To all our guests, thank you for joining us. Sit back, 
relax and enjoy our show.
7, especially the one where he experiments with shading. Good job to all grade 7 to 9s. It really shows how talented you are. How about you, Mikaela? Personally, I really liked the work of the grade 9. I thought they were all very unique and impressive in their own ways. And now I just can't wait to see what else everyone has come up with. So now we are going to witness the works of the grades 10 to 12. <laughs>
I just want all the women out there to know. I just want all the women out there to know. I just want all women out there to know. I just want all the women out there to know so that they can do whatever they want and to not care about what other people think because it's your life anyways and we all should live our life to the fullest that you are loved you are important you are valued you are appreciated you are beautiful you are smart you are wonderful and you can achieve anything that you put your mind to that we are all beautiful regardless of beauty standards so that it's okay to not live up to other people's expectations and it's okay if you ended up being the person you didn't think you'd be. That they're beautiful just the way they are. No matter what size, height, or color. You're all beautiful, you're loved, you matter. Their struggles are valid and that there are people in the world who are willing to listen and to understand. That you matter. Regardless of how you look, what language you speak, the color of your skin, who you choose to love, your family heritage or any of that. Women should be able to wear whatever they're wearing comfortably, go wherever they want to go, even alone, without having the fear of being sexualized or harassed. Because it doesn't matter whether her clothes were tempting or not, because either way it still happens with whatever you're wearing. And it's disgusting. I, it shouldn't be. It's bad. I want to be able to wear what I want. I'm literally covered up and I still get nasty comments and sexualized. It's disgusting. No. should be able to realize that being beautiful isn't only limited to our physical attributes and it's actually our voices, opinions, thoughts, and how we as a woman shape the society we live in today. I think women should be able to live for themselves, prioritize themselves. You don't have to always put others first or be everyone's emotional support. You don't have to carry the weight of the world is all I'm saying. You are beautiful no matter what anybody else says. It doesn't matter what any other man or woman might say about you because you are beautiful inside and out. We're all born with different bodies. It's what makes us special, unique, and beautiful. But don't let it define you, because beauty and appearances aren't everything. You shouldn't have to change yourself to feel beautiful, because you already are. But if you do decide to change something about yourself, make sure you do it for yourself, for your happiness, and not others. You are beautiful. I know that. And I hope you know that too. Everybody love you. They don't know enough about you. Do they know that I regret you? Do they know I shouldn't have to?
know my lyrical attributes are attitude. Shorty bad and new, put her kitty to the casket hoop. Now no recuperating, settlement is my statement. I ride the seven six with colonies on our pavement. Fuck with Kenny, I put the nigga in the ground. Six feet like dead clips, that's a blue cool bitch. Apologize for my profanity, this is my humanity. Quick to sit down, I pissed them off, but they not standing me. First and foremost, I get the most those, most holes, collect my cash. That was amazing. I really like the artwork from grade 11 because it was so interesting to see what my batchmates have been doing all year long. What about you? This one was my favorite because they were all so impressive and it seemed like so much fun making these. Sadly, that wraps up our art exhibition today. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you to the students for your beautiful artworks. It was very impressive and such a good representation of the creative minds of Mentari. That's right, and if you wish to see the exhibition again, you may by accessing MISB's YouTube channel. Once again, we hope you all enjoyed today's exhibition and we'll see you again in the next art exhibition. Thank, thank you! you.